Okay, so today we're talking about the exterior angles of a polygon. Exterior meaning outside. It comes from the Greek word exo, which means outside. Um, and the exterior angles of a polygon, what are they? Well, we can find those by extending the side of a polygon in any direction. So, oh, sorry, let me just unfreeze it. Um, so a polygon, for example, here we've got A, B, C, and D. This is a quadrilateral, in fact. Um, if we extend the side AB, boom, just extend this line a little bit. Let me just zoom in on this to, to clarify what I mean. We just extend the side. There you go. This angle is an exterior angle of the polygon. Then side BC, let's extend that as well. So we get this angle. This is the exterior angle of the polygon. Then let's extend this side. We get another exterior angle. And then let's extend this side. We get another exterior angle. So we have, we have a, a polygon with four sides. We have four exterior angles. So the number of exterior angles is equal to the number of interior angles. It's the same thing. It's just that they are on the outside. Now, to, uh, yesterday we were talking about interior angles and we saw the sum of those and all that. Now, exterior angles, oh, we've got a very nice fact. Look at this, nice and symmetric. The sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is always 360. And now you look at this and think, why? Why is it 360? And this is a visual response coming up here. Da, 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 da. Now these are some polygons. Let's see what happens if we just squeeze everything in towards the center. Look at this. Ah, we get a circle. So we get a circle. So a circle, we know the angles in the circle add up to 360. That's why. Let's do that again, because I just enjoy watching that. Let's do that again. Wow. Yes, that's beauty, isn't it? So the sum of the exterior angles in any polygon in the world is 360 degrees. Okay? So basically, that is pretty much it with the theory, the new theory. But... Uh, let's talk a little bit about what sort of problems can we get here. So they might tell us, well, this is the number of sides. Find the size of the interior angle. Okay, so here they're talking about interior angles, but today we're talking about exterior angles. So what's what's this all about? Well, let's just go back uh, a step to this diagram. So notice what's happening here. We've got these exterior angles outside, um, but we've also got the interior angles inside. So look at this angle in here. What is the connection between the interior angle and the exterior angle? Can anyone yes. see? Yes, because the outside angle, like if you take that away from 180, you get the interior. Exactly. Nicely done. So here, basically, the connection between the two angles is that they add up to 180 degrees. So we have a fact here, a new fact, which the book failed to state. These two guys they add up to 180. So we know that basically if you have the exterior angle and you take that away from 180, then you get the interior angle. How nice is that? So let's go back and correct what the textbook has failed to do. Um, so let's go back to the theory and complete the theory and say, come on, guys, you should have also told us that the interior angle plus the exterior angle, so interior plus exterior angle, is equal to? 180. 180. So this is going to be our new fact. So interior plus exterior angle is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, that feels a bit better now. So we've got the two bits of theory. Now let's talk about this polygon. A regular polygon has 15 sides. What is the size of each interior angle? Well, we can start with the exterior angle. So this is 15 sides. So n is 15. So how do we calculate uh, one of the exterior angles if we know that it's a regular polygon, which means it's nice. Everything is equal to each other. So if we do 360 degrees divided by 15, which the text we have done down there, we get 24. So each of the exterior angles is equal to 24 degrees. So what do we do to find the interior angle? What is the connection between the interior and the exterior angle? They add up to 180. So if the exterior angle is 24, how do we find the interior? 180 minus 24, and that gives us 156. So now we found a very nice way of calculating the interior angle of a regular uh, polygon with 15 sides. 
that's pretty much it. Now, yesterday we did this a bit differently. We were doing n minus 2 times 180 divided by the number of sides, but this offers a really nice alternative. Uh, students tend to remember the other one. Strangely, they tend to remember the interior angles and not the exterior, but I think we should think outside the polygon and remember this rule because it's, it's a lot better. But let me just stop the recording here and upload my annotations and start helping you with the questions you might have.